everyone for being here. I'm Yves Perez. Hi everybody, my name is Dajanique Staples. I'm the CEO of Work b and and I'm the president. And we are here today to talk about Work b and the platform, the app, the goal, the dream. We are working our hardest. Thank you for everyone being patient with us with all of our technical difficulties. Uh, we know that, you know, sometimes when you're going to do something big, big problems happen. Oh, yeah. And we were feeling that today. And trust me, we have a lot to tell you about that. So first of all, we're going to start off with the description of the company. Okay. Um, Work b and is a tech company that is coming to market with a platform that's going to offer whole homes to essential workers. So work b is going to be the better booking travel platform for workers that need extended stays and for home teliers that want to make more money. Now let's give you the backstory, okay? I've been in this business for over two and almost two and a half years. Uh, I came out to Reno, Nevada to help my mom with three Airbnbs and she got a contract by a company that was relocating here to house 65 people. And I got the call one day and she said, Yves, I'm buying you a plane ticket. You have no choice. I need your help. We need to open up 23 apartments in three weeks. And we did it. We scaled up, but we didn't stop. Reno is a growth market. There's a lot of companies that are relocating here. There's a lot of construction projects that are going on. And we decided that this was an actual lane that we could run in. And that is how we started to develop this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually born and raised in Vegas, and I moved to Reno to go to school out here. Um, I've been in customer service my entire working career since I was 16 years old. Um, and customer service is a big part of this business and why I actually enjoy it. I've been in the leasing, uh, in the leasing industry for about two years, and it's my passion. It's where I found that customer service and hospitality um, in, resident, in residencies is um, my passion. Yeah, so uh, Dodge and I uh, collaborated on uh, founding a co-hosting company mm -hmm. here in Reno called Uncanny, Uncanny Co-Hosting. Co and that's where we met David and Angie. Mm -hmm. David and Angie came to Reno for work, surprise, and he wanted to make another source of income. He recognized companies that were moving here. He wanted business travelers in his unit, and we collaborated on his unit. Tell him about your role. So I was hired on by David and Angie as a co-host. Um, they really wanted me to uh, manage their unit, and not only manage their unit, but help them with uh, other things with getting start with them. They also first listed on Airbnb, so that's where their unit is right now, and that was my very first experience um, with setting up an Airbnb and in the short-term rental, in rental industry. Um, I was able to learn and also just learn and make a passive income this way. Yeah, and it's a great income. We all can agree with that. What we're talking about today, though, is a better booking platform for this lane. Because if you want the business traveler, which is usually a traveler that stays longer, you can do a short-term lease agreement with this traveler. You can have terms and conditions that work in your favor as the host. But the platform has to be built for this lane. And that's what we've come up with here. That is Work b, &B. Now. We want to do a little introduction with the board. Uh, we have a little special video for you guys, so we hope that you enjoy this. Where are you guys from? How'd you meet? We are from Chicago, Illinois, and we met in high school, and we're high school sweethearts. What got you interested in opening your own short-term rental in this industry? Our first Airbnb that we stayed in was actually in Boston. From that moment on, I kind of saw how the business worked. This woman that we stayed at her place, she had a bottom floor, a converted basement made into a little apartment. And as I started to look at her calendar, it was jam-packed and busy. Like she had every day booked. And that's when I started to realize 
that there is a business opportunity in this. And then throughout the United States, we've stayed in many different ones. I've stayed, we've stayed in Chicago, um, in Seattle. I've stayed in um, Bali. In I've Bali, Bali. yeah. So we got to see it. So yeah, around the world, actually, you know, that's the, she's stayed in Bali. So us staying in other people's Airbnbs is what made us want to get into this industry. What steps did you take to open your own unit? So we had seen other people do it. We've seen them do it in their own homes. So it was a lot of research and it also was a lot of hands-on experience. And then also getting to work with uh, Uncanny co-hosting, that also helped out a lot. So what got you interested in joining me and Divez on the board to make this app come to life? He told me about the idea of work B&B, changing the method around compared to what Airbnb has. And so that's what really got me interested and wanted to get involved. And I can just see the, the true passion that Yves and Daj have for this project, which it made me inspired that I really wanted to be a part of it. We both wanted to be a part of it. How has your overall experience as a host and a board member been up until this point? The knowledge that Yves has in this short-term industry and also building a, a corporation from the ground up, it's been extraordinary to see. I'm excited every time that we have a meeting and get to see how it's gonna be ran. I think it's we have a product that I think is gonna hit the market hard. We're in the service business and we wanna service the hosts and also the guests. So we have a product that is gonna do both. We have so many features that's gonna go on with the app and with the company, help provide the experiences again for the hosts and the customers all right that's the board that's our board members yes. that's David and Angie and again we collaborated with them on their first rental mm -hmm. they're just getting started but what they realized was that there was much more potential and David and Angie have been a dream to work with. Tell them about, well, about David and Angie. Yeah, David and Angie, we, got, we were able to help them get their units set up pretty quickly in about a month. They enjoy the process just as much as we did. They had fun with us. We made it fun, we made it enjoyable, and um, also learning. It seems like they've learned a whole bunch from this, and now they're on our board, and they're creating an a app with us. So they really believe in us, and they really do understand what this market has to offer. Right. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a speech. Do you mind? Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, so this speech um, that I'm gonna give you right now, I call it Activate. And what I want to speak to all of you hosts out there is that it's time to activate, okay? What does that mean? That means it's time to set goals to scale up. Now, we've all heard about all the different technical issues that are going on with platforms, with different things that are causing issues, but that doesn't mean that you should give up in this business. This business is going to grow, it's going to expand, but that means that you have to activate something within you that will get you over whatever is holding you back, okay? Now, I gotta tell you, the first thing that I have personally used in this business is a vision board. I have put on my board how much money I want to make, what I want to achieve, how many units I want to open up, and I go for it. And it is something that I have invested in. So what does that mean? I can tell you firsthand that I have gone to Barnes & Noble with Dodge, my partner, and we spent a hundred dollars on magazines. We picked out all kinds of magazines. We picked out home magazines, uh, car magazines, food magazines, this, this, and that. Now, why would we spend a hundred dollars? Because we had a goal. We had a goal to always be leveling up. And you can't get up there if you can't see it. And we created our own vision boards to help us achieve those goals. Now, next, once we started to materialize those goals, we started to focus on monetizing every part of our business that we could. And that is very important when you're in the short-term rental industry, is how can you make money and where can you make money? And, you know, I gotta tell you, uh, there's gonna be a lot of things that come up that try to stop you. 
Uh, even on our way here today, we had issues. We had technical issues, but that did not stop us from doing this presentation today. And you should not be stopped by regulations. You should not be stopped by apartment complexes not wanting to work with you. And you should not be stopped by platforms that are not treating you well. You should demand better and push for better. Because when you push for better, you can achieve it. And we have met hosts all over the world when we have been developing this app. We have met a host in Malta that has over 200 something units. Amazing. And he has a goal to have over a thousand units by the end of this year. Now that's leveling up. But there is something that is activated in that man that said, I can do it, and he is not afraid to next talk about it. You gotta speak it out. You gotta activate something within you that will speak your goals. And once you can do that, you can achieve them. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to let you know the process of our Kickstarter launch. That is us activating our goals. We have everything ready to go. We have app design, we have logo design, we have all kinds of different features, benefits, uh, policies, and we have tested it with our own hosts, groups of people just like us. And that's really important. It wasn't something that we came up with in a box and didn't share with anybody. We shared with many people from 17 different states, five different countries, giving us feedback on every level. And it has been a wonderful experience. So first of all, again, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you to all of our hosts at the Work b, &B App Coalition Group for supporting us, for investing your time with us, investing your ideas and feedback with us. It has paid off to get to this point. I also want to send out a special thank you to our app developer, Synapse. I also want to send a special shout out to Dream Pilot Films that has been working on our project. And we have some other people that we have to thank. We'll thank them in our different posts. We'll tag you all. But again, we just want to say it's time to activate. And this is our chance right here, Work b, &B to activate our goal as hosts to make the better booking platform. So thank you. We'll get to our next update. We're going to take a break, but before we go to break, I have some important news. We had every intention today to launch live our Kickstarter campaign. We did the process, we followed the rules, we set it up, it looks gorgeous, and then we received a notice that they want to review our campaign further. That was a surprise to us because we didn't get any notification that that was going to occur, but it's their process, it's their platform. So we have to play by their rules. Now we have been told that that can take up to three business days, okay? But we want to be transparent with all of you those of you supporting us, those of you that may have some further questions, this is the time that we're going to take to answer questions. We are going to invite people on Zoom calls so that they could ask us questions because we have dedicated this day to launching our Kickstarter campaign. So we're going to fall through with that commitment. We are going to see it through and we're going to provide lots of content to talk about, okay? So first things first, we are going to take a short break. It's going to be a 15 minute break. There will be a social media post that will go out that will uh, let everyone know about our Kickstarter campaign. Uh, if you really want our campaign to launch live today, this is your opportunity to this is your opportunity to reply 
send a message, let us know, hey, you can uh, uh, let Kickstarter know that our campaign should go live, okay? So thank you again, and we're gonna take a short break. <laughs>